ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann with the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday morning, the 14th day of January. Interesting week ahead, cold air diving south, storms in the Gulf of Mexico. What does it all mean? Well, let's talk about it. Skycam shots early this morning. Mount Chihaw, Alabama's highest mountain. 26 degrees up there this morning. It's cold. Uh, we'll go over to uh, Gadsden up the road a little bit, up Highway 431. There's a look at the uh, lights of the city there. And again, they are below the freezing mark. And on the western side of the state, a look at downtown Tuscaloosa. And we'll sure be watching those sky cams carefully this week. There's the water vapor satellite imagery this morning, and you can clearly see what's happening here. We've got the big trough over the east helping to deliver the colder air. There's our upper level feature just southeast of Phoenix that we'll be watching. And uh, down below all of that at the surface, we've got, uh, boy, look at the Arctic front coming down over Missouri and Kansas and Nebraska. That is as cold as it's been all year up there. We've got some temperatures that are just bone chilling. In fact, let's just look at the uh, numbers. I see a 17 below zero up there, and these aren't wind chills. Those are actual lows. And, you know, we're about to look at all the model stuff, and, you know, you live by the models and you die by them, but uh, that map doesn't lie. That's what's going on right now, and those temperatures are bone-chilling cold, and that cold air will be sinking south just by nature of the weight of the cold air. And, of course, you know, how much, how much of it gets down here, how thick will it be, that's all a part of the decision-making process and how to forecast our weather Wednesday night and Thursday morning. But again, we note those 20s deep down into uh, central Mississippi and central Alabama this morning. So polar, <coughs> excuse me, polar air in place now, Arctic air not that far away. Now, this is the QPF map. This is uh, the su suggested precipitation around the country valid through Friday evening. And uh, quite frankly, I don't like the way that map is drawn. I think that heavier precipitation should be farther north. Uh, based on the track of this surface low, and I'm sure they will adjust that on the new map they'll prepare later this morning. Uh, so, uh, yes, I think that's the right idea, just the axis of the heavier precipitation too far south. In the watch warning map this morning, the big winter storm continues up in the northeastern part of the United States. Uh, it's over for New York City, but uh, Boston being slammed. There's the uh, regional radar up there this morning. If you're trying to fly to Logan Airport in Boston, good luck with that. It's a mess. Okay, the GFS, this is the 06Z run, valid at noon today. This is at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground, trough over the east, delivering cold air. Our upper level storm is uh, down to the south of uh, Arizona and New Mexico. Tomorrow, the upper level feature not moving a lot. Vortmax coming through the trough, another Vortmax back off to the northwest. Very a disturbed northern branch and a very disturbed southern branch, quite frankly. And that, when you see all of that energy out there, uh, it will be difficult to resolve this. I'll just tell you up front, there's a lot of players in the field. We'll go ahead and go to Wednesday, and we've got the southern system coming at us. A big polar uh, trough up to the north, northwest of the state, and let's get down below all of that and see what we've got. Very cold air digging down into the basin out there. It's a 1,048 millibar high, I think. That's cold. And there's our surface storm south of the Louisiana coast at midday Wednesday. This has rain moving up into South Alabama, and we will mention a chance of rain beginning Wednesday afternoon. Then we'll go to Wednesday night at midnight. Now, this is the GFS. It's got the uh, surface low south of Pensacola and thickness values suggesting all rain here. And then we go to Thursday morning at 6 o'clock off the GFS, and we'll get down to a higher resolution grid here, and the surface low is located near Tallahassee. And the uh, zero-degree line at 850 millibars or 5,000 feet, that's one of many rain-snow indicators. Does it always work? No, but it's typically fairly close. And on this run, it's got that zero-degree line near Nashville, and that would suggest most all of the precipitation here Thursday morning at 6 o'clock would be wet, uh, rain, maybe mixed with a few snowflakes. I, I think there's no doubt the model will typically underestimate the cold air. And, you know, sometimes, remember that's 5,000 feet. What if it's freezing down at the surface? 
Yeah, that suggests freezing rain, doesn't it? And uh, we might see some of that up there in the Tennessee Valley. But again, at first glance, that would suggest primarily a rain event here. So that's the GFS. What about the NAM, the uh, North American Mesoscale model? Now, this is a little slower. It's got the surface low south of uh, Pensacola, and it is colder. This has the uh, zero-degree line Thursday morning at 6 o'clock over the Tennessee Valley. And this would suggest snow for Muscle Shoals in Huntsville with mostly rain for Birmingham. But, you know, the uh, O's... Z run, the the one the run prior to the run prior to this had that zero degree line almost down to Clanton. So uh, we're right on the border as always. And let's peek at the European. And the first thing that just blows your mind is the amount of cold air that's up there over Canada. Yikes, that is big time cold. But uh, this is valid uh, Thursday morning at uh, six o'clock, same time. Surface low on, on the, the uh, European, I say surface, this is actually 850, but no, I take that back, that is the surface pressure, all right? Surface pressure is got the surface low just south of uh, Gulf Shores, and the temps are at 850 at 5,000 feet, and again, it's got that zero-degree line closer to Huntsville, much like the, uh, the NAM, but I tell you what, you got to note that 1,031 millibar high sitting over New England and a, a, a wedging-type thing coming in here. So, you know, based on all of this stuff, what we'll do is mention uh, rain becoming widespread Wednesday night, maybe mixing with a few snowflakes. And then uh, Thursday morning, the chance of a wintry mix from Birmingham north and uh, the better chance of any, you know, significant issues, if you will, would be over the Tennessee Valley in terms of travel. And then we'll go to midday Thursday, back to the GFS. It's got the surface low pulling away from us, and we are uh, beginning to uh, lose the rain. So... The primary window for precipitation seems to be from noon Wednesday to noon Thursday. Uh, the chance of a few snowflakes perhaps mixed in there uh, at the moment uh, for Birmingham. But at, at this second, we're not looking at any major travel issues. The uh, And even up in Huntsville, it's kind of borderline. But hey, this is wintertime in the deep south. You know how tough this is. That could change. Uh, Friday, we're cold and dry. Saturday starting off the weekend. That's a cold-looking pattern right there. Look at the ridge pumped up to, to Alaska, and at the surface, uh, that's, uh, that's cold air coming in here. Might be below freezing all day in Huntsville. We'll probably not get out of the 30s on Saturday. In Sunday, that surface high gets awfully close. Looks like we'll go in the teens there. And then Monday, again, awfully cold. And, hey, here comes another Gulf storm a week from tomorrow. It's, it's going to be another borderline call, if that's correct. Cold rain for the southern half of the state. Maybe some uh, snowflakes or icing problems up north. Of course, that's out in voodoo country. It's, uh, it's eight days away, but, you know, it's not that far out there. And quickly, at the end of the cycle on the 29th, uh, another cold-looking trough, another borderline call there. So it looks like uh, we're going to have a lot of uh, fun and games to deal with here during the month of uh, January. Now, that's it for the morning weather extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so this afternoon. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Monday, and God bless.